And now my first two guests. Please welcome Melinda Wu. She is the Admissions Director for the Ontario College of Traditional Chinese Medicine. And we also have Wang Hong. She's a Doctor of Traditional Chinese Medicine, also from the college. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so glad you're here this evening. Me too. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the college that you work at was founded by your father. Uh, yes, it was founded in 1998 by Dr. Wu. And the college is where? Uh, it's located in Markham, Ontario. Okay, nice, mm -hmm. nice. And what types of programs do you have at the college? Uh, we offer a variety of programs, um, two years acupuncture diploma programs, three years TCM practitioner diploma program, and four years advanced TCM diploma program. And also certificate courses such as Wu's Head Massage. And I understand you have a book giveaway for our lovely viewers this evening based on a technique that your, that your father Developed, yes, correct? Do. Okay. It's called the Dr. Wu's Head Massage. Folks at home, if you'd like a copy of this book, please email me at giveaway at drlana.com. I'm taking the first five emails. Also, if you have any questions for my expert panel this evening, give us a call at 905 595 live. All right, Melinda, mm -hmm. how did your father develop Dr. Wu's Head Massage? Well, that was a long story. Um, in 1972, after he graduated from high school, he was caught up in the Chinese uh, Cultural Revolution. So all the university was close, um, and then students had to send to the uh, village for uh, labor training. So he went back to his hometown to learn Chinese medicine with his uncle. And one day, he had a severe flu and head headaches. Um, uh, old medicine, a uh, Chinese medicine doctor gave him a 10 minutes head massage and the pain was immediately relieved. So he got really interested and he became an apprentice be under the old doctor. After that, he continued his um, study in TCM University. He spent 20 years to develop the Who's Head Massage. Nice. And I understand that two of the main areas that the head massage focus on uh, is the face and the head. So Wong, we're going to post a photo of the head massage and maybe you can help viewers go through it in terms of the areas of the anatomy of the body that the face massage actually accesses when you touch that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to post a photo on yeah. the, the face map of Dr. Wu's head massage that's going to come up on the screen. and. Um, just basically, there it is on the screen. So just tell viewers, what are we touching? Yeah, Dr. Wu designed this picture on his face. Uh, like we can see a different organ, your whole body organ and inner your face different area. So when we do the massage, we will just follow the ideas, different organ in a different face area. For example, we can see your heart is in between your eye and your liver and spleen is on your nose. So when you treat the patient, we push and massage that area, we will increase or stimulate that area, increase the organ function and improve your health condition. Yeah, you can also see from the photo that um, I think the knee looked to be anterior and superior to the angle of the mandible. Yes. Um, you have the spine that seems to be in front of the yeah. earlobe. Um, the shoulder, which is on the cheekbone, just below the outer canthus of the eye. Correct. So you're, you're touching a lot of the limbs, right. on the nervous system, and looks like a lot of the organs. Right. By Correct. The face. Yes. Okay. So what what's the theory behind Dr. Wu's head massage? Well, the theory was based on an old Chinese medicine textbook called mm -hmm. the Yellow Empire um, Canoe of Internal Medicine. And also in our Chinese tradition medicine principle, mm -hmm. is all yang and yin China we call the meridian China across the head. So we massage and treatment that China can improve your health condition and treat it, your disease in your body. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I appreciated from reading the book was that, I mean, you get to learn about acu acupuncture points. I mean, there's at least 40 points that you learn about. I remember one was right here in between the eyebrows. Some call it the third eye, but in, in, in your language, it's yin tong, right. correct? Yin right? Tong. And that helps yes. with relieving anxiety and irritability and helps with frontal lobe uh, headaches, correct? Right. And yeah. there's another point that I really like that was just above the uh, anterior hair, hair Line, it was due 24, right? And that was um, to quiet the heart and calm the spirit. Yeah, right. That's right. Very nice. So, just in general, um, yeah. who would benefit from this type of massage? Oh, our uh, the like head massage, like a common massage, they can are help to treatment a lot of kind of the 
the disease, like internal disease, uh, neurologic disease, like a stroke. And, but head massage is specific in the um, computer using relative disease, um, like uh, people in the working office, mm -hmm. we call the office group people, and they always feel the heavy shoulder, uh, vertical headache, um, stress movement, like that. Mm -hmm. Also head massage uh, can use in the anti-aging and uh, um, anti-obesity, low weight treatment, and uh, uh, right now, uh, there are more and more disease in a use mm -hmm. treatment by hand massage. What type, because I noticed you also touched the head, so what type of areas are you stimulating on the head and the brain? Oh, we were, um, uh, so pr practitioner use our two hand to touch patient's face, our uh, neck, shoulder, and the, from the face, we were until the literal and the back, also including the top. Mm -hmm. So on the brain, I noticed um, what fascinated me was one of the areas was the motor cortex that gets stimulated. And back in the 1800s, I think it was 1870, um, there was a German neurologist who actually discovered that vertical strip right. uh, by stimulating um, a dog's brain. Yeah. And when he stimulated a certain part of the dog's brain, the muscles would contract. Yes. And when he damaged that part of the brain, um, the yeah. dog became paralyzed. Yeah. And then years later, um, a Scottish neurologist just yeah. um, stimulated another animal and from that was able to uh, give a rough map of the human body on the motor cortex starting with the, fa uh, the feet towards the top of the brain right. and the face towards um, the bottom of the brain. So the strip runs like this. So when you're doing Dr. Wu's head massage, you're actually massaging a person's entire body without even touching their body. This is all accessed through the head and this is backed by science. Yeah, you're right. Our, um, by the Dr. Wu's uh, method, we have like a motor area and a sensory area in the mm -hmm. natural of hand. We also have a body balance in the back mm -hmm. and a visual area and a speech area and also we have the acupuncture point in the top. We treat that acupuncture, it's really, really uh, improved. Mm -hmm. So can you demo some some techniques that you would do on your face? Or, yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, in a clinic office, we we'll always let patient lying down. But uh, yeah, we just use our hand to do more than 60 movement mm -hmm. in the head massage and a cover of So what would you do on your face? What oh, would you do? We have like a, um, a lot of the technique as more than our 10 uh, Chinese traditional Tuina technique in using a head massage. So like we were pushing, um, kneading the acupuncture and swiping and we were ruling, and also we were do something in the shoulder. Nice, yeah. nice. And anyone can learn this massage. Oh, of course. Right? They would go to your school to learn of this course. massage. Of course. You know, yeah. one, of the, one of the quotes that I liked in the book from your father, he said, in TCM theory, energy never really ends, it transforms into something else, so that an end is often really only a beginning. It's so poetic. <laughs> very, very nice. Melinda, what else do you do at the school? Uh, I'm working as a mission director mm -hmm. uh, at the school, and also um, if anyone interested, they can come for our teaching clinics. Uh, our teaching clinic is offered to the public. Um, if you want to get treatments mm -hmm. uh, at affordable price, uh, you can come and call us or visit our website. And just quickly, we do have a photo of your father to put up. And he's um, in this photo, I think he's doing the head massage on mm -hmm. this photo. There he is. There's Dr. Bin Wu. What's he doing in this photo, Melinda? Uh, he's performing a head massage. Um, this is uh, one of the techniques. That's one of the techniques, and there's about yeah. there's about the 60, 60 movement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, you know what? Thank you very much, ladies, for coming down to the studio today and um, sharing with us Dr. Wu's head massage. And um, all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back more on health matters and more on TCM. Stay tuned. Want to quit smoking naturally? The Journal of Chinese Medicine reported research results showing that laser acupoint stimulation can assist in smoking cessation by reducing physical symptoms of withdrawal. Mm -hmm.